Are you still speaking now? To, uh, let's see when I when I get back. <laughs> Just one other thing. You, you, maybe I have the maybe I have the bags. That <laughs> <laughs> one other thing. You, you, you seem to be saying that um, you're not going to do anything knee jerk since you've taken over. You're going to have a look at all the players, consider everything, who you might want to sell, who you may want to buy. Does that also apply to the captaincy? John Terry has been mm. captain here for a long, long time, been a very successful captain. But will you take a fresh view of it? Will you look at the whole squad and think, maybe I'll change, maybe I won't? What, what's your attitude to JT and the captaincy? No, listen, it's, 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 it happens in, 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 the, in clubs different ways. I mean, in, in, in Porto, the captaincy is decided by, by the manager and, uh, and the structure. I mean, uh, and uh, I mean, uh, John is a reference of this club. There's no running away from it, and, uh, and he has been successful in his captaincy for uh, for most of the time. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I think uh, I think we, this is a thing that we will address as players. I mean, uh, in the end, uh, uh, the leaders you see you see where they are, and, and for sure that uh, that most of the players in the dressing room see John as as, as a leader and a player who incentivates them to perform. Uh, if we are able to find uh, more leaders in the dressing room, for sure that they will take the the captaincy from one time or the other. I mean, but I think it's it's uh, the captaincy is something that is of the utmost uh, importance, and for sure that you will find uh, more leaders in the dressing room, uh, more social role models again, and uh, and more professional uh, role models as well. Okay, uh, let's go back to Matt then. <coughs> Uh, Arsene Wenger in the, in the past has t called um, Chelsea financial dopers. Um, I just wonder in what looks like it could be a busy summer. Do you have any problem philosophically spending money that Chelsea do not actually have? I mean, uh, we, ha we have to be uh, bear in mind that financial fair play comes in from, uh, from next season. So, uh, I mean, uh, if in the end, uh, any club does what what is expected from uh, from from uh, from the club to do. I mean, uh, uh, we are able to to move in the market uh, in one way, and Arsenal are able to move in the market in in another way, and they are they are able to move in the market finding uh, amazing youthful talent. And, and and I mean, it's 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 two different. It's almost like two different uh, cultures and and two, two two different ways of being. It's becoming cultural almost that, that Chelsea moves in the market in one way and, and Arsenal moves in the market in another way. So we, we just have to respect uh, uh, how, how, how people go around in their business. In the end, it's just to be, for us, in the end, it's just to be in the top spot in the Premiership when, it, when, it, when, when the table, when the, when the fixtures finish. And, and, and uh, to, to do it one way or the other is, 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 uh, is something that uh, I respect what, what he does and, uh, and if he doesn't respect what we do, I mean, it's, there's nothing uh, wrong with that. It's, it's just his, his opinion. So, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's two, different, uh, two different ways of, of, uh, of, of treating the market and we are happy in the way that, that we uh, approach the market. We're going to start drawing this to a close. So what we'll do is we'll do Henry, Martin, Matt and Sam and then I think we'll, uh, we'll call it quits there. Henry. Andre, Henry again. Well, why is Portugal producing good coaches and England doesn't seem to be? Is it something you got right in the structure or is it something individually that inspires people like you and Jose? Uh, well, uh, I think, Henry, it's, first is the question of, uh, of being successful in this environment of the best league in the world. I mean, I just, uh, we just arrived uh, uh, now in, uh, in the Premiership. I mean, Roberto has been here and, and Steve has been... Uh, has been uh, leaving the Premiership for uh, for all of his life, plus my my two technical staff and Christophe, that has lived the Premiership for the last uh, three years. I mean, uh, so for us it's all new, and we have to perform as well, and 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 and, and to prove that we can be successful in the most difficult environment. So that's that's the, the, I don't I don't see yet m myself yet as a successful manager. I was able again to live with very very good quality players. That uh, that gave me the chance to be successful in in that way. Uh, so now the, the the challenge is on for me to 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 for me and to us and our players to to continue to be successful. I mean, um, I think I think it's a good question. I mean, um, but it it doesn't mean that uh, that English manager, managers are not uh, uh, successful and, and and they are not good. I mean, it's just that the question is that they don't don't export the way that we do. I mean, in the end, we are people. That are willing to move to take on other challenges, and maybe and maybe not the English-based ones, or not or not the British uh, managers are are willing to move in the same way. But I mean, Bobby has been successful abroad. Steve McLaren has been successful abroad, 
and there's no reason why uh, why British managers cannot triumph uh, abroad. I mean, I, I see no reason uh, on that. Uh, maybe reasons of uh, adapting to other cultures could be the issue, and uh, or, or 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 thriving to that challenge or wanting to to take that challenge. But I mean, uh, I mean for sure, if uh, if, if 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 people like. Uh, other dice will move on to, 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 to management in other countries. Why can't they be successful and, and, or any other man? Just a question of, of taking the challenge and, and the comfort that they have or not on taking that uh, challenge. Uh, I mean, hopefully enough, we will be able to, to, to continue to respond to what, uh, to what is the, the Portuguese manager that, uh, that, uh, that Jose is as a reference and the legacy that he leaves in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in Portugal, in Italy, in, in, in the UK, and, uh, and now in Spain, and, and the legacy that he's trying to build on there. I mean, he's, he's one of the best managers in the world, and, and for us to be, um, and for us to be able to, to try to respond to him is, is something that makes us proud. Martin, we read, um, Andre, that one of the first things you did at, at Porto last year was force the players to sit through a video of Benfica lifting the title and, the, and their celebrations. Um, do you envisage a similar um, ploy this, this season? And more importantly, how do you build the winning spirit, the right environment within your squad? What do you do to make them have that desire, hunger to yeah. win? I mean, it's, um, I, cannot, uh, I cannot be uh, so um, selfish enough to think that uh, all of the things that I've used to motivate my players were the thing that made them thick. Uh, no, not thick, thick. <laughs> so, if they get thick, we are going the wrong way. So, I mean, I, I cannot be selfish enough to think that uh, it made them uh, tick on, uh, on all of their motivations and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and abilities. I mean, uh, I just, we just need to, by technical stuff, be able to, to, to tick these ones in, in the right ways. Uh, I mean, uh, why not? Why, why cannot be uh, a Man United photo or an Arsenal photo or, and, and the way they have been successful in, uh, in the past years? I mean, uh, that, the, the Man United the reference is just there for you to see it, and it's pretty clear. Um, a big, big successful club. Uh, as this club was the reference for them when, uh, when we were successful, when, when Jose was here and with, with Carlo was here, and, uh, and uh, when, when Gus was here. So, uh, so as we were the reference to them, now they are the reference to us. That's the challenge that we face uh, for the next season. I mean, if, I mean, if we're going to provoke them in that way, I mean, it's, it's a question for us technical staff to decide. I mean, uh, most of them could think, could think it's, it's just rubbish and, and, and whatever, and let's play. Uh, and, and most of the time, it, it's just like that, because in the end, it's their talent that decides in the game. It's, it's, it's not us from, 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 the, from the lines just, just, just shouting and, and, uh, and, going, uh, and going through the technical area. So um, let's, uh, let's see. I mean, let's, uh, most of all, let, let's, let's exploit their talent and let's free them on their, their, on their decision making. And then, uh, and then see how they respond to, to motivation and ambition. We are people that uh, that uh, like to focus a lot on motivation and ambition, and hopefully we can uh, we can uh, challenge them in that way as well. Matt, Andre, Manchester United have set the standard in England for 20 years, and other managers have used all sorts of strategies to try and beat them, really, and unsettle Ferguson. Mourinho flattered him, praised him. Benitez and Wenger were more confrontational and aggressive. Which strategy will you use, and do you think it will be successful? Against? Against Ferguson. How do you, I have no how chance. Do you beat Ferguson? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, am, uh, I have the utmost respect for, for Sir Alex. I don't know him personally. Uh, and, um, and uh, well, uh, well, it's... Uh, it's, it's some, I'm not a confrontational guy. I'm, I'm just a guy to sit down with you, share my ideas, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and 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 give you the feedback from what I feel from the players in in my weekly basis, and in the, in the feelings that the technical staff has regarding each situation. Anything that you want to ask me, I'm free to to respond, and I'm willing to respond. There's no running away, or there's no, no there's no putting it in the back. And, uh, and, uh, and I, I mean, um, I'm not here to confront people. I'm here to challenge my own technical staff, my own, uh, my own departments, uh, my own players, uh, and, uh, and put everybody together to be able to respond in the pitch. I mean, and, and to, to respond outside the pitch is nothing that, that interests me. I mean, as long as we are able to be up there in motivation and up there in ambition and up there in performance uh, in the pitch. 
Well, I mean, uh, there's, there's, uh, there's so many strong teams. I mean, and, uh, and you see the way Tottenham is, 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 is playing, and you see the way that Man City is, is being revolutionized by, by Mancini, and, and also their ambitions and the, the, the they have. Uh, I mean, you see Arsenal still with that hunger for success year after year, and the way that in the end last season slipped away, away from them in the last couple of, uh, of, of games. So for sure, for sure, uh, uh, Mr. Wenger will, uh, will, will again provoke them to respond in, in uh, every single fixture. And, uh, and the way that uh, Man United are, uh, are about in their business, they are, they are not here to play, they are here to be successful as we are. So the references are pretty clear. And, uh, and, uh, and, for, and I mean, this is not impossible that even Liverpool, when, with the arrival of, uh, of, uh, of Doglish uh, from, from the mid, from midterm last, last season, the way that he built on from, uh, from, from Liverpool's, or the way he went on up from in the table for, for Liverpool, just missing out on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the UEFA Cup spot. So uh, big, big challenges ahead for us, and, uh, and, and, and that's what we, we face. That's what we want to face as soon as possible. And final question, Sam. Andre, if I could just take you back to an answer you gave to Rob about the captaincy. Yep. Is John, is John Jay the captain in your mind, or are you basically opening the auditions? No, no, I mean, uh, I mean it's, it's, uh, the, uh, John is, is, the, is the captain of this club, and, and for sure he will be the captain throughout the years, as, as is uh, Lumps, as is uh, Didier, people who have taken the, the captaincy uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, different games. I mean... Uh, uh, in the end, uh, Sam, it's just not, um, it's just not a question of there are no more leaders other than John. There are more leaders in the dressing room, for sure. Uh, uh, when John is available, for sure, he will take the captaincy as, as, as long as he challenges for the place, as, as any other player challenges for the place. I mean, uh, in the end, he's, he's the reference as, of, of captaincy for this club for the last years, uh, as well as Lampard, as well as Peter Sheck. I mean... Uh, the most important thing is for them in the dressing room, within them, find different leaders and find different responses and absorb different responses from, from, uh, from different uh, people. And, uh, and, uh, and, and John is, represents uh, the history of this club, the, su the successful history of this club in the, next, in the last uh, seven years, six years, and we, for sure will continue to, to be like that. Andre, the day is more fun. <coughs> Do you yearn the day when you come to a press conference like this the name Jose Mourinho isn't mentioned. No, I mean, it's something I take it normally. I mean, it would be wrong to me to, to or it would be wrong from you, <laughs> not, to, not to mention a person who has delivered so much for this club when he was here. So, uh, I mean, and he, he, he delivered so much in Porto and he was, he was throughout present in, uh, in our press conferences and, uh, and he was almost like sitting next to me. So maybe he's here. So that, that is the question. He's part of the history of this club. The trophies that you see in around this, this, uh, this uh, room were won by him and, uh, and, uh, and uh, good for us because we have, uh, we have that preference. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks. This is the very final one, Matt, then we'll, then we'll close. Andre, you seem to suggest that established players like John, Frank, Didier have to establish themselves all over again to fight for their place. No, I'm, I'm not saying them. I'm, I'm saying that they are established and they are, they, for sure, they are leaders in, in various different ways. I mean, uh, uh, let me absorb again the, the, the emotions that are in around that dressing room. I mean, uh, they have more experience, those players at the moment, of what's the living situation of that dressing room. And then, uh, and then when we come on board, we'll, uh, we'll see how things, how things are, are dealt. We just need to be, to be able to expand our coherence of leadership and our fairness in leadership. Uh, and our fairness in decision making. This is the most important thing, and this is the thing that a manager cannot cannot ever lose. And uh, and as long as people perform to the utmost to be competitive, for fighting for a place, uh, I mean, uh, good for us because uh, that's what we want to, to challenge them for. Uh, regarding the leadership, there are plenty of leaders. John is the reference of this club, and as I told as, as I told Sam before, he'll continue to be as long as he is able to perform. To the, to, to, to the utmost uh, uh, competitiveness, and, 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 and he has been able to do it in the last uh, six years. So. Okay, thanks very much, everybody. Okay, thanks for the pleasure.